Hey guys, welcome back to Vex TCG. Today we are opening up more gacha palms. So we just recently ordered this from one of the online shopping websites. Uh, to order a set of the gacha palms we don't have. So hopefully they are very similar and they fit into our miniature arcade sort of style. So let's just see what we got. Hmm, all tape over here. Okay. Okay, let's see the first one. Whoa, whoa. it's a Blastoise one, that's, whoa. Oh, it's a Blastoise arcade. Okay, awesome. Um, no, no, it's not the arcade, sorry. It's a Blastoise miniature gachapon. Awesome, let's try let's try build this. Gacha pawn's actually inside. Okay. I think this has already been built a little bit. So snap on the bottom here. This one I believe is Oh no, that's not being crippled because otherwise it'd have the stickers on, right? Pocket monsters there. This should be the big blast with the guard is. So cool. I got this the first one of these I've gotten were the Pikachu and Eevee ones like a long time ago. But I think now they don't do these in the machines. Oh, perfect fit. that back on there oh oh no that is meant to come down I believe because that needs to go in the back actually so it does have to come down the sticker you can see is a bit inverted so the whole purpose, ah uh, yes, here we go, inverted and then I believe, give me a sec so I don't make, pushes in like this, so this one should probably go in like this. Whoa, you got it. There's even harder things in here, I believe. Each of these pieces. You have to put the sticker on. Oh, you're right. <laughs> and each of the individual gotchas. Oh, it's meant to come off. That's why it's so loose. Mm. There's a Pokeball in there. I totally forgot about this stuff. Oh, it's for the front. Okay. Squirtle. Squirtle. Side that. Well, they're all blue. Oh, well, they're all water or, or ice. More total. Such a sick set. Oh, 
Kuno. Psyduck. Okay. Oh. I think this one might be one of the most detailed ones, to be honest. There's still two more here. Yeah, but I think we put them from the top, don't we? Like here. Oh. Hmm? That's it? No, that's it. Cover it. That goes there, yeah. And then a Pokeball goes in the middle after that. This one snaps on the back there. Okay, and then we have a new one. That was a Blastoise. What one is this? Oh, the Venusaur. One of the other starters. That's so cool. Whoa. That's pretty sick. That's perfect. It fits perfect. Probably won't let up today. <laughs> oh. So nice. Have to carefully push it in. Oh, he got it. Got it. Not bad. Perfect. And then. Oh, you're getting a lot faster at this one. I just find it so crazy how on these gachapons, they actually have miniature gachapon balls in here and then the Pokemon. Yeah. It's so small. Sign, yeah. The sign? Yeah. 
เป็นแต่เอนเทนหมดเนี่ยคุณไปได้ here yeah should be just gonna use some bit of force perfect wow that's such a cool one that art is so cool for this Venusaur it's actually really detailed this Venusaur art this is sort of like a Ninja Turtle colorway oh, there's one more sticker Cool. So cool. Okay, number three. Let's see which one we have here. Orange and a lovely shade of teal. Oh, it is Lizardon Charizard. I didn't should think we show this pamphlet. It's all five here. So once again, these are by Takara Tony, I believe. Ooh. My favorite part, this huge sticker. I think the uh, really tough sticker. I need Julie to assist me on again. That one's really tough, but that's my favorite part. I'll bear it being very hard for me still. Lizard on. Stickers. Oh, so the evolutions. It's all the fires. Charmander. Charmeleon. Uh, guess I'll skip so we can go right to Charizard. Zardy boy. Magma. And then there is a Moltres, legendary bird. Okay. And these go into these little capsules here. Just put the shell on. So good. So satisfying to do these. Charmander goes in. Capsule. Go Charizard's in. Charmeleon is in. And then we have Magma. Okay. And then the toughest part is this one. Let me give it a go. Alright, 
I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call for this assistance. Side up? Yeah, the tall one. I'm gonna call for assistance. Yeah. This side, right? Sorry. I don't have the finger dexterity for this, sadly. All right, lizard on. Thank you. <laughs> It's really cool how these stickers are inverted, so you get to see it back to front. Um, what are you missing? Pokemon sign. Man, this, these are really sick. I think these are my favorite gacha ponds. Um, I discovered these like the first time I came to Taiwan. And then ever since, I just think these ones are just so detailed. Uh, there we go. on there and then there should be a uh, one more sticker there's a gotcha sticker there we go uh, as the as the video has progressed you can see our cat Wally hasn't really been meowing because he's outside today but when we saw this video he just really wanted to chill out with us a lot he was mowing a lot. Okay, so there we have the Lizardon, the Zadi boy, one of the most popular Pokemon, full Pokemon. We're gonna get the logo and the signage up. Then bam. Gotta click this boy up. Clicked on. And I'm missing the topper. So let's see all of them together. I guess they made these five because, wow, crowd favorites, I, su I suppose. Probably most popular Pokemon. Actually, one of the most popular Pokemons, wow, it would be Greninja and also Mimikyu as well, but Lucario would be good as well, but. Let me see, let me close up a bit. Of course, they all work, which is just awesome. There we go. So cool. And then, if you want to place them back in, you can place them in like this. Or, of course, you can take them off and then. On that area there you can um somewhere on the stretch uh, instructions this shows that you can actually stack them up so let's try that out okay let's try stack them up so i believe you move this one down nope oh yeah oh that's sick So you can actually do it like those gaming machines, like you're actually in the store. That only just makes me want to buy more. That is very cool. Check this out. Oh. That's nice. You can make it like they're going through and shopping. So for example, it just looks like they're just going through and shopping. Okay, and we actually have one more capsule today. There we go. We have one more, one last one. Um, so I guess the seller was just selling these. Um, I think they run a Gachapon store. And then to find these toys, are is a, it's like a, I want to say it's not really like a Craigslist or Trevi, but it's like a, sort of like an eBay in a way, but it's like more user-friendly. Sort of like an Amazon in Taiwan. 
And you can just really search these up. It's called Shopee. And then you can sort of just find these. Um, there's a lot of e-hobby stores as well. And yeah, they just have all these really different ones. Oh, the sticker here is a bit squished, but I'm guessing Julia chose this one because of uh, Pikachu. I don't assume she chose it because of Poi Poi, but this is a different set. It's a pinball set as the same there, but I think the different set here is, you can see they have some different Pokemon here. You have like Suvali, Guzzlord, Necrozma, and those cards, well, I mean those Pokemon, uh, you know, they've just scarred us when we pull those consistently in Hidden Fates. But um, anyway, Pikachu. Pikachu, um, there's Litten, there's a Poi Poi, and there's Rowlet. So let's get to doing this. If I recall correctly, this one should go like this. And then this one should go like this. Uh, this one should go like this. I should click in. I think these are quite friendly to build, but of course I don't recommend it for like really, really young toddlers or whatnot, just simply because of all the small pieces. But I mean, the pinball one's okay, but I think the Gachapon one is not too good because it's just this really, really tiny, like, Gachapon pieces. Um, I should probably apply the stickers first. So this one is a huge sticker, right? Oh, it's in here. Kind of squished. The amazing thing about these stickers is although they get crushed, they just, like, bend back instantly. Pretty good. Poi Paul and Pikachu. Um, this one has a scoreboard. No, the other ones have scoreboards too. Oh, uh, that is cool. And then these ones, I believe, just click in like this, the legs. Hmm. There we go. Ooh. Hmm, this one's a bit off balance, but it's all good. And then there we go. A red one. Once again, the machine. Oh, nope. Let me try to get it there. And... There is a little launcher. There we go. Cool. Then it's time for these stickers. Insert coin. Nice detail. Rowlet and the poi pole. I remember this one should be done this way. Actually, a separate stickers now. Actually, I don't even think you need that sticker to be honest. It was just a clear one. Because on the past ones, there was a detail. But I'll stick it on. Because it seems like there's like a rip there. So I think you're meant to put it on, I guess.
I must say the past quality one was a bit better. But who are we to complain? These are such a good price. They were at, um, well, okay. I've been doing it wrong. There we go. So be careful of the stickers on these ones. They're a bit more fragile. Bit more crush, but that's okay. For my own collection. A little bit crease on that the second evolution of um lit in there. But you can see it's a bit more loose on the back here. Um but it's cool. And then these little pokeballs. Julia, I'm gonna need your help on these Pokeballs. Cool, thank you. New launcher. Oh. Okay. We can display it with the others like this. All together, they would be like this. Okay guys, once again, thanks for watching my videos. Um, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe and I continue making more opening videos of these gachapons and hopefully we can do some more trading card openings soon. See you guys soon.